I'm Michael Luisi. I'm the president of WWE Studios, and I'm a Weill alum. I grew up as an only child in New York City. My parents were both from Brooklyn, New York, and uh, I think maybe because of that, there was always a little Brooklyn in me. Uh, in terms of influences, there were a number of studio heads uh, when I was in my uh, late teens and early 20s that all had legal backgrounds. And because I wanted to pursue a career in the entertainment business, uh, I started looking at that and saying, hmm, you know, there's a lot of paths to becoming the head of a studio and maybe one path is to get your law degree first. I started at Weill as a summer associate, went through the summer program, you know, did the rotations back then, didn't really know yet um, what practice area I was going to go into. Liked the idea of Wild because they did a lot of work in the communications field. They did some litigation, uh, you know, in the movie area and so forth. So it, it seemed like there'd be an opportunity to not only figure out where to start, um, you know, my practice area, but get a little media exposure in terms of the client base as well. And, and at the end of the summer at Wild, I'd had a really great experience. Uh, so received an offer to come back and, and, and I made my third year in law school very easy by saying yes right away and kind of knowing what my path was. I started at Miramax uh, right around the beginning of 1993. And I did something people thought I was crazy to do, which was I walked away from a partnership that had been offered to take this job at Miramax. I didn't go to law school to, to be a lawyer. Uh, I, I went to law school to further my ambitions in the motion picture industry. So the Miramax opportunity provided me uh, a chance to work on the other side of the deals uh, but also spend my day working with the head of production, the head of marketing. That was exciting to me. That was an opportunity to take what I had learned and apply it in a very different setting. No day is ever the same in my job, which is one of the, the great things about it. It's one of the most challenging things about it. So I run the movie division, which means that I'm, I'm ultimately responsible for developing producing, uh, finding distribution for, and helping to market our motion pictures on a worldwide basis. Conflicts arise virtually every day in my job. Sometimes they're good conflicts, they're constructive conflicts, sometimes they're not so constructive, but you're constantly negotiating. So I think it's always important in crisis and conflict to say, okay, what's not just important to me, but what's my adversary looking for? What's gonna satisfy them in a way that I can live with so they get a good result? Because that leads to better business relationships, better opportunities down the line. And if you, you know, if you win once and you win big, it's great. But if that other, that other person feels like they got taken advantage of, they're not coming back again. And, and that's not the way you sustain a business. So.